Hello people of Spigot, today I'll be showing you my plugin Talking Bot and so let's get into it. So Talking Bot, it's a bot on your server and you can use it as a helping bot or just a fun bot and I'll get into it right now. So it is called Talking Bot and it's fully customizable, 1.9, 1.8, 1.7 support. I haven't tested older versions but those work. Java 7 and 8 support and the current version of this video is 1.6.12.5 and those numbers mean something to me but you'll never figure out what they mean they each have a separate meaning to me haha <laughs> okay. so let's start talking about it. it's a very neat plugin which allows you to talk to a fully customized bot on your server how it works is if you say the boss name configurable or sense contain the boss name or literally anything it will respond using those set messages take a look down below to see how the config works with this it's infinite and this tutorial that you'll be seeing will be right here this one's outdated with an older version, and okay, so you can test this at craftymc.net under slash prison. So you just type slash prison in there, and it will use most of the config below. I don't update it on my server that much, but it will work with some of the messages down there, for most of them. Here are the commands talking about toggle, talking about add, talking about reload. I'll, sh I'll go into these detail later. Talking about and permissions, talking about interact, talking about toggle, talking about add, talking about reload. So those are the permissions. Here are the features. So just skim through them. It's fully customizable. Change the boss name, the prefix, messages, and you can randomize them. There's two ways to configure them. Allows for adding on a message array of strings that's confusing. Ch choose from two no match section responses, which I'll go into detail later. Responses for mess yeah, that's what I just said. Ignores case ignores characters like question marks and exclamation points, asterisks, and everything like that. That is Minecraft 1.7.x, 1.8.x, 1.9.x, point x, Java 7 and 8 support, and color support lightweight, compatible with any to most plugins. I haven't tested any, most, all the plugins obviously, but yeah. Premium support, even, I'll come on your server for hours if you actually need, like even with my free plugins, I do that. Like I literally am on there for two hours because I have no life and I'm boring. Okay, so how it works. The customizable bot reads from the config and matches what the player says. So if it contains the bot's name, so if it contains their name in it, so it doesn't have to, but for this section it does. So if you look below, each end is broken up by words. So if you want your bot to say something, if a player said Jeff, how are you? You put it in the config. So the saying started here. So four spaces. I'll go into that. Jeff, how are you? Great, good. And then it chooses from one of those responses and it says it everyone on the server unless it's toggled off which I'll show you later so you only need one response maximum like I said so you can remove this and it'll just say great or it'll choose from one of these here's a, a pre-configured one Jeff do you like pizza and this is what it looks like the default config right here so you can use the miscellaneous section which I'll go into later as a complete alternative to this and talking about add to go along with it so you never have to open the config except for changing the last name so that's that and then the config is right here now spigot is having issues and it's all to the left so i have a paste bin with the config in it i'll show you that in a second notes this plugin does not support real well i haven't actually tested that but it don't do relay loads but if you have to it might work sometimes it doesn't so don't put another set word section under a message like this i'm using weird english because i'm not going to use real terms for it Sayings, Jeff, how are you? Great. And then if you want to say, how are you doing along with that? Don't do that under this uh, response right here. So, because this will throw you an error. Instead, use two different sentences. So, Jeff, how are you? And, or actually, you'd need to use the miscellaneous section. So, make sure you have four spaces on the first word and two for everyone after that. You will get errors if you don't put them accordingly, depending on your host. Because the YML, YAM. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the configurers are different for each house. So, see this four spaces, six, eight, ten. Two after each one, and four for the starting one. So, four, six, eight, ten, you can see. And this is off. This should be back here. Right under the last one is where you put the response. So, that's right there. Just an error with me. Also, for tags like don't with that, the little apostrophe thing, uh, you have to use two of them. So, it will look like. That's two uh, um, and, uh, apostrophes, 
not a quote it's two apostrophes and that will turn to one which I'll show you I guess later the miscellaneous section can be used for anything use the command talk about add message in response so I'm actually match it uh, add it and I'll show you this later it will add it to the miscellaneous section which I'll show you in the config to do NPC basically you can read this if you want no, that's that and in terms of service upon purchase you agree you're not really sure this plugin in any way without permission from the owner to your own section you can also not decompile this plugin look at the code all purchases are filing you may not you will not receive a refund on this grant by Jones 16 you know the reviews nah, you can read this by yourself so let's open the config here's the spigot config it looks pretty ugly but here is it with indents we're going to paste bin it's a bunch of ads everywhere but that doesn't matter let's zoom in a little bit okay oops okay so the name okay so I'm not gonna read the notes because that will take too long so bot name this is the name of your bot don't use characters here just literally what will trigger it if you're using if you have to trigger it using a sentence you see trigger it, that's the worst explanation ever but just if you're gonna call it with the bots name you, this is what they're gonna call it by this is the prefix that it will show to players so this is what I showed you earlier response speed this is in text ticks if you set it to zero it will go before the message actually sends it looks really stupid so, okay so here's the no match section so this is when the the they only s so there's two parts of the no match section when bot name only and question not found so if they say just the bot name so they just say Jeff nothing else it'll say one of these if it they ask a question that's not in the config it'll say one of these and there's the only placeholder player for now so you can request placeholders in the discussion okay so that's that and I'll choose from one of these like every section that has a string list in it which is this part right here it will choose from one of them so do that and here this is just going through what I just said so here's how we start do not I, I already went through this so sayings four spaces six spaces etc so let's go into something more appropriate so I uh, for most editors on your host it will have lines lining all these up so it'll read it like Jeff who is your father and it will say so as you oh it's really confusing at the first it gets really easy though so it, it reads downwards like this is the first way to configure it it reads downwards like this so it every two spaces and then down here do you see this it's not going to read Jeff who is your Jesus it's going to say Jeff who is Jesus because it is like oh that actually is set up wrong sorry but it will read Jeff who Jesus so if you say Jeff who and then if you go to who all the way down two spaces out it'll read Jesus and it'll say Mexican Jesus yeah but if you say Jeff who is your father it'll, it'll say that so it's really confusing but it's how it's lined up so I hope you understand that so like for all these down here it doesn't st it never says Jeff again you know you don't really repeat it so so well, let's just start so Jeff so we're just anything from here will be the second word it'll say so we have let's just start from up here Jeff take wake touch high fight fight why say your your B is suck how Minnie's not one what what I'm can are and etc 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 so that's how that that's how it reads it's really confusing at first but once you understand it it'll make so much sense so like you can ask it questions and when you uh, get a response you can find it in here and you'll figure out how it works really easily and the placeholders player again so I'll show you I'll go through that again later so that's the first section this section is so much easier you are probably gonna use it everyone's gonna use this probably but that's just fun so the and uh, for a warning this is rated PG-13 probably most of this stuff is PG-13 so I would watch out if you heard yeah okay so talk about ad I'll show this show you the commanding game but it's basically the whole response right here and for this section uh you can start it with the name or you could have it not containing the name or you could uh start end it with the name or have it in the middle so you can basically have the name anywhere here 
in this section you can only have the name at the beginning so this section there's like no point to this section I just like how it looks that's why I'm keeping it there but I would recommend just using the command for this so how this works is you just say Jeff Jeff do you like coding <laughs> do you like coding plugins you put hyphens in between the space and if someone says Jeff do you like coding plugins it will read from one of these responses so you can add you can add more responses and choose from one like usual then we have toggle on toggle off incorrect usage no permission message added and reloaded so here's this stuff down here so that's how easy this part isn't easy but just use the command for this part which I'm going to show you in a second so I guess we can I'm going to go back here so I don't miss anything I'm going to keep myself there okay so let's start up my server and I'm going to put this down here for a second plugins okay so it's going to load up real quick this will not be here because that's where all my other stuff is so the folder will load and oh my gosh and you will have no errors because you're awesome and so here's this talk about enabled version perfect and the config will load with all the notes and everything and see the lines that makes it awesome so then you can configure it to whatever you want so let's join the server Okay, so we're on the server. Only plugin loading load is is this right now. So if we say Jeff, it will say that's me. So let's just spam it real quick. So as you can see, it's choosing from one of these two, and do you see the double apostrophe here? It's only sending one because that's how YAML reads it. And then let's ask it a question that's not found. Jeff, it, what is a grass hole? I, that makes no sense. So Jeff doesn't know it, and he's gonna say to Spanish really quickly and so if you look closely it'll say a bunch of different ones and it's choosing from here so it's also using the player placeholder and that's how that's working right there so let's let's do some of these let's say I'm not yeah okay so Jeff who so you can follow along right here Jeff who is your dad Jeff who is your dad you can add some things at the end and it will say Jesus, and since there's only one response, it will say Jesus every time. If you say Jeff, who Jesus, because it should be is, but yeah. And then if you say is, since it's broken right now, I need to change that. But yeah, so that's that, and it will say that one. So Jeff, who, and then you go down here, two spaces out is do. Jeff, who do you worship? Jeff, who do you worship? And I'll say that. And then Jeff, who do you love? Who do you love? ETC. So that's how it reads that. You can figure that out. It gets really easy after about 10 minutes, I guess, I'd say. That's what most people tell me. So now miscellaneous, you say hi. We'll say that. Bye. And it'll also choose from there. Bye, Jeff. Jeff, do you smoke weed every day? Uh, every day, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Jeff, do you like putting plugins? Hi Jeff, bye Jeff. So that's all working perfectly. So now let's do this talking bot. So that that will say nothing, but if you type this or an incorrect thing, blah blah blah, it will. Be, yeah, so that doesn't matter. Talking bot, re, toggle reload ads. So let's start with reload. Boom, that was hard. So let, let's just show you for an example. Let's completely destroy it and say. Yeah, that's pretty professional looking so then we reload it and then we say hi and it's gonna say that so that's what the reload man does pretty great so that's that talking bot toggle so now this will just toggle the bot message on and off so now if we say hi Jeff hi Jeff say hi that's one too I know the ones that it says J hi Jeff bye Jeff bye Jeff who is your father if you see because it's off if you toggle it on it will now show again so I like that feature a lot it was requested a lot so yeah once you, you ever the, the permission for this once again is talking about that toggle the reload one is talking about dot reload and then the final command we have is the most complicated one so 
I'm gonna close this configuration or it's gonna yell at me. So talking about add, and now we have message and response. So for the message, you have to use hyphens just like in the config. So you can do any message you want here. So I'm just gonna say count to 10. Now the hyphens would be spaces as if you were asking it. And you also never put symbols in here, but you can put numbers. So count to 10, or you could put 10, it doesn't matter. So count to 10 and a space. So there's four arguments. There's currently three. Well, not in Java language, but for your sake, there's three. And then the fourth one is a response. So you say, I'm just gonna say one. You could add spaces in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So now let's say that message successfully added. Now if you say count to ten, you'll say that. That happen every time. And if you resend it with a different message it will override it but I might add something to make it add to the string list I don't know if you guys want that or not but oh and it also deletes the notes currently I should probably fit I don't know what's happening there but yeah so the notes you might want to look back on the page for that but then it'll add it to the miscellaneous section like I said and for this section you only need two spaces so yeah so add an extra space at the end, but that space doesn't matter. So it'll just add it here for every one you add. So that's pretty neat. And then these are the messages you can change so it fits your server more. And that is basically it. I'm pretty sure. Let's make sure I've shown you everything. No, ma yes, I've got to. Hopefully you understand this now. Random messages, yes. Uh, yeah, I showed you characters. I'm gonna just Jeff do like pizza, but Jeff do you and it's not case sensitive by the way, so I can be that ooh pizza. Oh wait, oh I spelled it. Wrong. It does have to be spelled right. That's yeah, that's the only thing. And Jeff do you like Trump? That's classic. Okay, so that's basically all that I have so as you can see you can use that as a helper bot so like how do I get staff you can apply for staff at fancy google.com that's not how you spell google.com I I can't do this there, you can apply. How do I get staff? You can, and then and that's clickable link. Great, I'm not opening that. So you can use it as a helper bot, or you can just talk to the bot. See, it, it, you don't have to say Jeff. So that's basically all I want to show you in this video. If you have any other questions, just ask in the discussion page. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you see you using my plugin. And I'll add a server list here people using the plugin if you want it here I'll add it so I hope you enjoyed and a good bye